today's video we have a machine that I have had for a very long time Christmas 2018 I got this the last vacuum cleaner of 2018 this was what are we now November whoops yes a SIBO to look at but fortunately this has a what could be a fairly significant problem with it which we need to have a look at and see if we can fix but I'll show you that as we get to it let's have a look at the machine in a more normal way first Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, we have it. It is filthy. Not going to lie. and it, it wasn't this filthy when I first got it. It has been sat in the shed for a while, poor thing. I thought before it gets damaged, I'd best do something with it. So yeah, ignore the filth. It was actually quite clean. It came with this. In fact, it came with this in the box. But the box fell to bits. I still have the box somewhere, but it is a genuine SIBO extension hose, yes, designed to clip, this is quite an expensive option, I know it bumps up the price of the cleaner when you get one included, but yeah, apart from the dipping could go through the washing machine, it's not bad look, if I show that now, because then I can, you know, it's on the chair out of the way, and have a look at the rest of the machine, which is a good quick one. This because it's, it, it's a Civo X1, it, it's a Civo X1, it's a Civo X1.1, it's a Civo X4. It is a Civo, very good condition. Barbara, I got it filthy, a few little wear marks here and there. It has one of its tools, they're in excellent used condition. Yeah. It's all just not too bad, really. It's very clean. It's certainly what drew my attention to it when I paid a tenner for it. Oh, yeah, it even came with those bags. They're paper bags. So I think I might have given those away already. Because obviously, I won't put paper bags in this. It'll get HEPA flow bags. If we take the hose off, we can see that the wand is in superb condition, actually. Normally, these get scratched up all the way up the ends. Although you can see in the machine that they do leave a heck of a mark for people you know, to try and get them in without really doing it properly. So yes! Oh. There we Ow. Ah. This side has it got a bag in it? Ah, oh, here's the bag. Look, it does have a bag in it. Quite full. It, it had a bag in it when I bought it. I've actually used it to clean the car out. But look, here's all the extra bags. Look, see this. It came with a load of paper bags, which I might sell it with. It has this non genuine filter, which is actually quite clean. I might just about keep it off to sell it. Who knows? We'll see. See about that in a bit. We have a date wheel of. I'm going to have to get the angle right on this. 1999, October 1999 for the main chassis. So there we go. Fairly newish SIBO X1 because the X4, X1.1 would have come out then, and then I think the X4 would have come out fairly soon after that. I certainly don't think it would have been much after 2003. So yeah. If we recline and have a look at the post motor filter, which isn't too bad. I've seen those looking absolutely disgusting, thick with black stuff falling off it everywhere. This is all right underneath. There is no blockage. If we take a look at the brush roll, the brush roll is in superb condition. It's covered in hair, but it's in superb condition. In fact, the reason it's in superb condition is when I used it for a whole day to clean the car out, I took the brush roll out. 
so it wouldn't sit there on the ground, you know, fall off the car mat that you put there that never quite works. And chew itself up. So yes, basically, it is quite tiny. And it runs really well as well. The main motor works very nicely indeed. But it has a slight issue, you see, it cleans this deep pile carpet very well indeed. But, no, if I zoom in a little bit, and there, oh, a bit too much. I put the clear, so now we're on the rug, which is a lot shorter pile. Keep a look out for the, oh god that's terrible. That's why I don't zoom. Hang on, let me reset the shot up. There we go. That's why you never zoom on a video because you lose everything, especially in 4K. Keep an eye on the lights of the control panel down there. It's not going down. It's trying, but it's a little bit. Let's try and It's not raising and lowering properly. Now it's going up. Now it's raising itself up to its path in place. It's really got to lower the handle there. It's not going right down. That should go down quite far on this path. Yeah? And it's not. And it's still doing the right job. You want to lift it off. Then go down. Then it tries again. Oh, and again. And that's, that's just skimming the top of the car. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go then. Oh, it's going up. actually better than before. It's year long near lay up in the shed. Must have fixed something. Because that computer wasn't doing anything. The lights weren't lighting up. Nothing was happening. It was just stuck at its full parked height. Well that's a little bit more interesting then. I mean apart from that the machine works absolutely fine. Well, there you go. You can see it's not, it hasn't fizzled up. 
how it is. We'll make as soon as we can climb it. It's still going up. And yeah. It just doesn't know quite what to do with itself. So let's have a look at some of the more simpler things that it could be. See if we can work it out. Now in order to look at the bit we need, which is this bit, we have to remove the top from the base, which if it's never been done, can necessitate, necessitate a knee on there, or something on there, to hold it into position, oh. while you give it a bit of a tug. Because they're not as simple as they're made out to be, especially after many years. We'll take the handle off because that's digging into my neck. Yeah, they're showing the pictures and the videos that all oh, these are. There we go, easy to come off. They're not that easy, I'll be honest. So yeah, there's the leaf of that. Oh, the hose has just fallen out. Never carry it by the hose. <sighs> And we can take a look at this part here, because in here is where the magic is not happening. So to remove the hood, we need to remove these four screws here. Which is one, two. Also to notice the very good condition of the front bar and the obligatory missing should be a rubber strip there, so this thing is vaguely, passably okay on hard floors. Without that, this is a carpet only machine. Obviously the and this is actually part of a sacrificial strip. Yeah, so you can replace it, but the problem is you've got to spend money on it then. And why would the cleaning contractor spend 20 odd pounds on a new one? when they could just say shut up and keep vacuuming. So there's three of the four screws. That means that this bit should now lift off. Ah, oh, that needs to be the climb. There we go. To reveal actually quite a clean in it. Very clean. Not too bad at all. And as I thought, actually, this may not be as difficult as I imagined. In there, ooh, where are we there, should sit a magnet, which is actually currently sitting there, look, on the side of that green bit. Here it is. This magnet goes past somewhere or built into this somewhere, is a sensor. So when the magnet passes through the sensor, which see that's not, that's not sticking in there at all though. We'll see if it'll do for now, because I think we can actually test this a lot quicker than we first thought. Oh, if I plug this back in and turn the switch on, because we're still, Oh, way off yet. We can leave this whole top bit off. We need to pop this back on. Then I need to plug the handle in. And then take note of the lights. That's basically it. That's no good! Oh! There we go, the fight is what a seagull looks like! Well then hopefully...
Do you know what? I've heard stories about that, about the magnet that comes off. I have heard so many tales. I've never had it happen to me. That is amazing. Like, no, I was actually, when I started, come on, off. When I started filming this video, in fact, the reason I have it is I thought, oh, God, the magnet's going to be fine. Oh, God. The magnet's going to be absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with the magnet. <laughs> it was the magnet. I'm not going to glue it in yet. Just because I want to obviously play with this a bit more now. So I'm going to use this. This is good. I can play with it now. I've got a thing to use it with. A thing that you haven't seen. But I've needed this for. <laughs> now I can use it. Brilliant. So we'll pop this back together now. That was it. This is now just turning into a bog standard before refurbishment video really not much more excitement we can get from it at the minute apart from i can clean my this is my really dirty i've taken the hoods off these before and they have been black dripping in carbon dust that one's spotless i'm really really pleased with that that's really good There we go, I was we had to go in there and everything. Oh, wow. Well, that'll teach me for leaving this for nine, ten flipping months, won't it? Stupid man. Never nag a man to wear anything. You've told him once, he'll do it in six months. There's no need to remind him. Oh, right. Well, I think we'll go back up a bit with the old camera and do a few more general shots. We may as well carry on cleaning this. Get down. But it should go down. Okay. Up. What confuses these is when you run them up right and turn them off before the computer has a chance to bring all the way up. It, it causes issues, really. Well, floor cleaning, pretty flipping good for doing the stairs. Well, in its standard, guys, you don't get up very far. Oh, you get up. Oh, you get to there. Up to the bars, I could get actually quite far. But obviously, the poor machine is bashing about all over the place whilst I do it. However, with the extension hose in place, 
I could come up literally to the camera. I can certainly clean the stairs. It's a bit heavy. I cannot deny that. It's a bit heavy and it certainly is a solution to a problem that shouldn't really be a thing. They should have just stopped to, you know, these are bulletproof. We don't care about if you don't find them, you know. Completely ergonomically brilliant. I know what they are. It's a bit of a shame because they've got to adapt to survive. So I can see where this hose came from, but a eh, bit of a bodge. Oh well, let's sum up. Well, I am very, very happy with how this video has turned. God, this is my front room with like a rejected carpet superstore. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. What I thought was going to be a bit of a pain in the bum actually wasn't. This is my first encounter with the magnetician. Normally it's the flipping board or the stepper motor that's gone. You've got to be a little bit careful with these and it isn't that. You know, it's, don't get complacent. This is not what I was expecting. But it is worth the gamble. Like I say, I've got, I'll, I'll, I'll find the box out for the art of video of this and stick it in. But yeah, we'll put that there and we'll put its bags there. Yeah, they are genuine SIBO bags. <sighs> I'll get my ugly horrible face out of the way. And there we go, look, the £10 SIBO Automatic X1 is fixed. Fantastic have something to do with it now. Really, really happy with how that's come out and I can show you the magnet issue which I have never seen before but have heard a lot about. So it's not completely unsurprising. It's just finally happened. I've got this other SIBO to do up to sell. Marvellous. Right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.